we are good to begin the session as well. So hi, everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you, all the students and parents, if there are any behind the cameras. So very warm welcome to all of you from the Olympiad Success family. I'm Aarti and I will be your host for today. So students, like uh, we were discussing earlier and it was quite surprising that uh, most of you did not know why we are here. So students, uh, we are here for uh, a demo and introduction program on opinion talks, okay? So now like a few of you had mentioned what opinion talks exactly is, right? But then uh, uh, could not get a complete definition. Okay, so basically like Olympiad success has been into Olympiad's training and skill building training, right, uh, from the past two years, and this is our third year into it. So we had introduced this opinion talks last year, and it was uh, quite a successful program. So now what exactly is opinion talks? Okay, so uh, basically, you know, there are two important things to it. So a few of the students mentioned about public speaking, right? So public speaking is a part of it. But then what is our motto behind opinion talks? So generally, like what we do, uh, there are many global issues running around. Everybody must be knowing. Okay, so we, uh, you know, we have curated some really interesting topics for you all on global issues. And uh, uh, basically, our aim is to build perspectives on these global issues, right? And uh, as a byproduct, uh, you would develop confidence in public speaking. Correct. So, so you know, like uh, while discussing on the global issues, so as a byproduct, you become a confident public speaker. Okay. So these are the two important things uh, in the opinion talks uh, thing. And, uh, you know, like uh, generally we know the things happening. Okay. So we know that there is a war uh, going on between Russia and Ukraine, but then do you know the reason why? Okay, so in these classes, in these opinion talks classes, we would be knowing the whys behind what is happening around the globe. Okay, so that would be really interesting, correct? Understanding the whys, because everybody knows like something is happening or the other thing is happening. But then if you understand the reason why is this happening exactly, so it becomes the topic becomes even more interesting. Yes, so in opinion talks, we would be, you know, focusing on the whys and uh, these would be uh, this particular like this course would be really helpful for you to prepare in competitions, uh, maybe extemporaries you take part in debates, MUNs, etc. Correct. So I think so I have given a, a brief introduction about opinion talks and now uh, I would explain you the flow of this uh, session. So first of all, there would be an introduction by your mentor Siddharth sir. So Siddharth sir has been associated with Olympiad Success Family for quite a while now. And uh, you know, like uh, he has been taking particularly these opinion talks classes and uh, uh, he has come up with really interesting topics, which we would be seeing the syllabus. OK, so these are on the uh, global issues and many other topics which you can see. So I'll be sharing the uh, just the uh, major topics with you, like what all we would be covering. OK, so Siddharth sir would be your mentor for this entire course. Right. And uh, uh, in this, basically, like uh, what we would be doing, what, how he would be proceeding is like uh, for every topic in the first session, he would be providing you uh, an overview. OK, and then uh, what you have to do is like you have to do some kind of research. OK, you have to come up with your viewpoint so that in the next session we can uh, have a discussion. OK, and you have an opportunity to represent yourself okay so right now in today's class you are on mute but then in your regular live classes you will be unmuted and you would be uh, like having an opportunity to speak up correct and coming up with your viewpoints so basically this is a peer learning and you would be going to learn many things from your uh, peers because they would be researching something else you would be doing something else so this is a quite a learning process for all of you so after Siddharth sir's introduction, I would be taking you through a brief presentation wherein uh, I would be explaining you about the course, like what all would be there, the days, the timing, et cetera, et cetera, right? After the presentation, we would be having a short question and answer round. And after the Q&A session, we would be starting with the demo session for which we all are here. And meanwhile, like uh, since the subject is now clear to everyone, maybe if you can, you know, think of the topic which Siddharth sir is going to take. It's a huge, huge, you know, vast uh, 
uh, thing. It's not just math or science from which you have to, you know, choose the topic, but then it's a vast thing. So maybe if you can, um, like once uh, Siddhartha starts with the demo session before starting, so you can write down your uh, topics in the chat section. So we would come to know like what you are thinking on which topic are we going to have a discussion today? So welcome Siddharth sir. It, it's really nice to have you on the platform. Why don't you introduce yourself to the kids? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so uh, good evening, everyone, and uh, good evening, children. Uh, so my name is Siddharth, and uh, first of all, I would I should give a, a small introduction about me. So I'm teaching uh, students like from uh, class, you know, uh, four to five to class twelve from last six seven years. So I have seven plus years of experience, and uh, I'm associated with Olympiad Success Family from quite a while. And uh, uh, talking about uh, this course, uh, this course is basically, as ma'am already explained to you, that this is designed to, you know, uh, to get into the why of things, right? So every day we are going to uh, take one uh, topic, which is, uh, you know, currently going, uh, just like ma'am mentioned, Russia, Ukraine war or the economy, right? So all these topics are going to be, you know, explained well to you, and then you can understand them well, and then you can also discuss, okay, you must have seen all those discussions going on in a news channel every day, right? So in that way, you will have a perspective to present these topics anywhere, right? And you don't need very high-fi knowledge or, you know, knowledge to, you know, present or understand a topic. You just need to know why that thing is happening, right? And uh, one thing more I would like to add that uh, this course is only available here. You will not find it anywhere else, these kind of talks. And, you know, this will also help to build your confidence. Uh, so I really thank uh, ma'am uh, uh, for uh, introducing me and uh, over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, uh, Siddharth sir, for a wonderful introduction. And uh, Siddharth sir has mentioned really one important point. So, like, uh, we are the ones who are taking these kind of classes because we feel that, uh, you know, like, uh, you have been studying, you are studying your regular subjects, and uh, which is essential, I agree. But then this topic itself is, again, really essential for you to, uh, you know, like, grow in your career. So, uh, you know, like sometimes it happens, students uh, must have happened with you. It had happened with me as well. So like whenever we are, we are in a group and some kind of topic is going on and if you don't know anything about it, we remain quiet. And because, you know, like uh, if you don't know anything, we cannot speak. So it's really good to have a have an understanding of all these uh, topics. And then, you know, it, uh, it would be helpful for you to make uh, yourself a confident public speaker and you would be able to present your viewpoint as well. Well, correct. So kids, now I am sharing my presentation with you. So if you have any doubts coming up, you can write it down in the chat section and post the presentation. I will be um, taking all your queries. Also, Ayushi Mishra, ma'am, I'm not able to understand in English. So Ayushi, uh, for this, English is compulsory. I uh, These classes won't be conducted in Hindi. So English is essential. Now, let me share my screen. So, hi, everyone. Once again, a very warm welcome to all of you. So, uh, like this course, uh, Opinion Talks, it's uh, for students of grades 5 to 8. And once again, a very warm welcome. So, to start with, I'll give you a brief about Olympiad Success. So, Olympiad Success is India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad examinations. We had come up with the live classes, uh, like, three years back so this is our third year running and uh, again like we are India's first exclusive live classes for Olympiads preparation and then we have come up with a school plus program also so many of you would be knowing about school plus so school plus is it's a combination of uh, you know eight subjects which are offered in Olympiad success live classes so it's a package kind of thing so these eight subjects are math science English and logical reasoning these are essential for your Olympiads preparation and then we have four other subjects which are communication and it has both spoken and written Vedic mathematics and coding so these are essential for your skill building right Along with that, like uh, what else do we offer? We have online CBSC plus Olympiads classes for grade six to 10. We have one to one. Uh, we have one to one preparation classes for uh, uh, International Mathematics Olympiad. And uh, these examinations include like SASMO, CMO, HKIMO, et cetera, et cetera, right? So uh, like these would be really helpful for you to prepare if you are uh, you know, planning to prepare for these kind of examinations. And uh, we do have JE means preparation classes. Now, talking about the international rank holders for the academic year 2021, we had 40 plus international rank ones, 70 plus in top five and 120 plus in top 10 in the academic year. 
2021. So, uh, am I? I'm getting a message, ma'am. Your presentation is not visible. Uh, Siddharth, sir, is my presentation visible? Yes, it is visible, ma'am. Yes, okay. Ma it's visible. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, uh, so these are our international rank holders for the academic year 2021. Now let us discuss about opinion talk. So we had, uh, you know, like uh, enough of it uh, in the introduction section itself. So I'll just reiterate few of the points over here. So opinion talks, it's an experiential course that combines building perspectives on global issues, which is really essential. And secondly, developing confidence in public speaking. So you get two important things, right, in this course. So this course will help the students to know the whys behind what's happening around the globe, improve skills to confidently express opinions, have a broadened vision of international events and issues and respond flexibly, uh, flexibly to multiple worldviews. Also, like uh, as mentioned earlier, this course will be helping you to participate in competitions like extempories, debates, MUNs, etc. So the objective of these sessions is to make the students really confident public speakers by enhancing their knowledge, because uh, if you are knowledgeable, you would be able to speak really confidently. Now, uh, about the link, so you can check the syllabus by going to this link. And uh, like the major topics covered would be environment, lifestyle, technology, global politics, and uh, finally, I and my country. Also, like for every topic, the first session will provide an overview of the topic by the mentor. So students will have to do the research and then present their viewpoint in the next session, right? So as uh, we were discussing earlier also, so uh, you would be given like in the first session, uh, uh, Siddharth sir would be providing you with an overview of the topic and uh, you would you know you have to do some real kind of uh, uh, research work and uh, come up with your viewpoint so that can be discussed in another class and uh, about the session details so uh, these classes would be conducted in group with around 15 students and it would be delivered through Zoom. There would be two classes per week and the days will be Saturday and Sunday and the timing will be from 6.30 p.m. till 7.45 p.m. This would be as per Indian standard time. So basically these classes are 75 minutes with a five minute break in between. Uh, the total duration for this course is three months and the payment, uh, the fees is 6,370. If interested, you can go to this link, which is olympiadsuccess.com slash live slash buy and make the payment. So that's it, kids. Thank you so much. Your live classes will be beginning from April 23rd, which is a Saturday. And I hope to see you all. And lastly, I would like to end my presentation on the note that in the academic year 2021-22, that is last year, we had students from more than 3,800 schools across India and abroad. And we have students participating from 35 plus countries. So thank you so much once again, everyone, for listening carefully to my presentation. And now we are uh, open for question and answer session. So students, you can write down your queries in the chat section and we would be happy to answer. So I think you... we have one query. Then go for study. Uh, Maybe Ayushi to... has to go for studies. OK, Ayushi. Okay. <laughs> Please share that link. Okay, I'll just share the links once again. So all the links are there in the chat section. You can uh, go to these links. The syllabus link is there. You can just check that link. Okay. Any questions, students? No one have any other question? No? <laughs> okay. But tell me, uh, what are the days of classes? Saturday, only Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, okay. And what are the timings? Okay, only Tanvi is attentive, the other are not. Okay. And how many sessions are there in this course? Anyone can tell it. How many sessions?
No one. But then total how many? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. So you were told like this course is for three months. Not two months, three months. Now you can come up with the answer. No, not 21, three months. <laughs> yes, Dia, we are going to start. So thank you so much, Gaurav. Uh, 24 sessions is the correct answer, right? So now uh, I had asked one question in the beginning itself. So what is the topic for today's demo? Anyone? Topic I'm asking, I'm not asking the sub subject with this we had uh, already discussed, Ukraine, Russia, any other thing? Any other topic coming to your mind except for Ukraine, Russia? I think so, Siddharth, so you have to only disclose the topic now. <laughs> Because uh, India, Pakistan, okay. Uh, uh, we are coming coming up with uh, some of the topics. So right. much is happening around you. Just think about it. So, students, opinion talk is the name of the subject. I'm asking, like, what are you going to learn in opinion talks? Like, on which topic are we going to have discussion today? So that is the question. Mm -hmm. Public speaking, you are again saying the subject name changes all right so that's it so over to you why don't you only disclose the topic and uh, you can start with the uh, your demo session then okay ma'am okay so uh, uh so shall i start then Yes, yes, you can, you can. Yeah, okay. So students, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, before we start, uh, so all you all already seen the topic, right? So before we start, I would like to say that if you have any doubts or if you want to speak something, just you can just raise your hand or you can, you know, mention it in the chat section so that, uh, you know, I can ask you and you know, allow you to talk, right? Uh, but in the uh, rest of the sessions that we are going to cover, you will be like, you know, uh, like you, you will be allowed to talk directly. Right, and you can just uh, say it in the chat section or you can just raise your hand, right? So your topic today is global goals. We also call them sustainable development goals. Uh, these are some goals which were taken up by the United Nations for the development of the world, right? So you must have heard about them recently in the news also and also in your schools, you know, some United Nations event or United Nations Day, right? So this is the topic that we are going to cover today. So uh, before we start, uh, I'd like to say and ask you about that. Do you know about that? There is an organization in the world, which is a group of all the countries that is called as United Nations. So just tell me how many of you know about it. Yes. How many of you have heard about United Nations? Just write it in the chat section or you can just, you know, raise your hand. You can like. No, no. Yes, I know. Yes. Okay. Gaurav knows. Okay. Harsha, you also know. That's good. Yes. I have heard. Okay. Ariman, you have heard. Harsha. Okay. Good. Deepanshi said yes. He also knows. Okay. Vedan. Okay. So you all, uh, many of you have heard about United Nations, right? So that is a group of countries. Okay. That is basically a organization that is responsible for the governance of the world. Just like you have government in your country, right? So United Nations has had taken up some goals for the betterment of the world. Okay, you must have heard about, you know, so many schemes that generally government, uh, you know, uh, issues for the public, 
like you must have heard about you know this uh, swachhata abhiyan or all these things so that is for the betterment of our nation right india but for the betterment of the world united nations make policies right so they took up some of the things which were you know they are not better or they are not good about the world so they wanted to you know make those things better right so the united nations took up some goals right and they are called as the global goals or the sustainable development goals so as you can see uh, it is mentioned here there are uh, so many goals like you know poverty okay hunger all these issues were taken up by the united nations right uh, so in this session we are going to learn some of the things okay so uh, regarding this session if you have any doubt okay you can uh, uh, aishi is saying uh, you, can you explain again okay so aishi uh, we are just uh, going to uh, learn about today uh, today we are going to learn about uh, united nations and uh, what are the goals sustainable development goals that were chosen by them and why they are important and what value they have and how they affect us in our daily life okay and why they were chosen that is the basic question right and how they work right so we are going to learn about the sustainable development goals and what are these goals first of all why we need sustainability in the first place and then we are going to learn why they, they are important and how they affect our daily lives right so uh, i'll tell you the session flow how we are going to you know cover this topic so first of all the first uh, thing that we are going to know about sustainable development goals or the global goals is the historical background right so historical background is how how these goals were taken up and how every uh, how people you know they uh, how people uh, decided that we should have these goals what are the problems in the world okay and how we should tackle them so they these goals are basically the problems that we have in the world right and how we are going to remove them right second thing second point that we are going to cover that what are these global goals and their significance so we are going to see their significance globally also nationally also and individually also right then we are going to see globally how close are we in achieving these goals so suppose you made some goal right okay so you made some goal right and then how much you have achieved it like your 50% 60% how much you have achieved it right so how close are we in achieving these goals then what is the india what is india's position in achieving these goals right what is india's position as a country right and then uh, we'll conclude this session by uh, knowing that what we can do uh, you know uh, as a way forward that what we can do to uh, get this condition better okay so let's start with the historical background okay so how this why we adopted these global goals from where they came up and what was the idea around it right so uh, global goals or sustainable development goals okay so uh, these are the uh, these are the continuation of the millennium development goals okay so uh, if you have any doubt in between you can just uh, you can uh, just raise your hand right and uh, just tell me if you have any doubt okay uh, uh, right now and until now and then we'll move forward okay just mention in the chat section right or you can just raise your hand okay uh, yes yes ariman yeah so what is the meaning of sustainable development okay so sustainable development uh, basically means that we are going to discuss actually you know sustainable development is you know uh, doing development in harmony with your surroundings or the nature okay and it is like uh, you can consider it that it is for this generation also and the next generation also right so it is like an equity or you know it is uh, it is for everyone not even it's not like it is for the child or always for the adults it is for everyone right so sustainable development is which is sustainable which can sustain that means that it is for the development of the world in harmony with the in harmony with what in your environment okay in your economy and with your and socially also right so this is called as sustainable we are going to discuss this term in detail uh, in the next uh, following slide right sir india is a part of un yes of course uh, sujal uh, india is a part of uh, united nations right so uh, india uh, india and along with you know there are now over 200 countries right which are a part of united nations yes aishi yes please speak sir ye kaun sa topic hai so this topic is for the opinion talks and uh, beta this uh, this uh, class is going to be completely uh, this is uh, because this is for you know this uh, public speaking so uh, you have to you know speak in english first of all right so uh, because this class is basically based on that right uh, anyone else who has any doubt and then we can move you know okay anyone any doubt just mention it in the chat chat section yes sarosh yes yeah please speak
uh, what is millennium uh, millennium development goals okay so i am i'm coming to that i was just asking that if any other doubt like whatever we have covered till now if you have any doubt regarding a topic or anything then we can move forward okay so i'm going to cover this now right okay so uh, millennium development goals okay so how uh, sustainable development goal uh, uh, you know these goals came to be right okay so we are going to understand them right so in the year 2000 there was a summit you know every year united nations meet all the countries go recently you know our prime minister also went to you know united nations general assembly right so there was a uh, summit at the united nations new york headquarters right so there they thought that there are so many problems in this world right what are the some problems that this world has can anybody tell me what are the problems that we have yes uh, 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 yes my is my voice clear now Yes, Vedan, please speak. The poverty and unemployment. Okay. Yes, uh, that's that's correct. Yes. World's problem. Okay. Uh, yes, Kisle Ranjan. Yes, sir. Like disputes between any countries. Yeah, that that's very good, Daksh. That is also one of the problem in this world. You can also see that recently there is a war going on between Russia and Ukraine. Right. That is also one of the problem. That is the you know enmity or the problems between the countries. and poverty okay that is a very good point that was given by yes sarosh yeah uh, uh, discrimination and yeah discrimination that is also that's very good discrimination is also one of the problem yes any other problem that we have today globally just tell me globally that you see around you anyone okay vedant you have answered i think uh, yes okay just wait yes satvik sir unemployment yeah unemployment that's very good unemployment tanvi has said a caste system okay guys maybe i will i will not be able to reach every one of you right and so you can just also write your answer in the chat section also okay uh, so well, but i will see i will try to unmute everyone right and if i miss it just mention it in the chat section i can see it right okay so tanvi that's a very good answer again that that is caste system so so many problems you are you people are seeing right any other yes that's a very good thing uh, sarosh has mentioned climate change is also one of the biggest problem yeah that is the biggest problem because your future depends on it like you know we are at least like we are older now but you are the young ones so you are going to live longer right so if the climate is not good that would be a problem right so that is a very big problem then satvik is saying right to vote yeah that is a that is a kind of you know that is a problem social problem you can say right right to vote many people do still do not have the increasing price of things okay yeah so inflation that is one of the problem yes ariman that's good vedant is saying global warming okay that is in the climate change okay okay so you have mentioned yeah deforestation okay you are coming up yeah anyone else other people why they are silent okay sarosh uh, okay uh, nilargiya and uh, we have kisle daksh yes and dia okay just tell me dipanchi just mention any any problem that you see around you what are the problems that you see around me around you sir please mic open mic is open my mic is open i, I uh, can you hear me if you can hear me just give me a thumbs up if you if you can hear me everyone my my is my voice clear please tell me if my voice is clear can you hear me everyone uh, yes sir it is clear okay 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 yeah. so let's let's move move ahead now okay so uh, i was asking you that what are the problems so there were so many problems that you mentioned right so to how to solve these problems right so we uh, uh, we uh, this as a whole uh, you know the group of all the countries in year 2000 they set up some goals they they named those goals as the millennium development goals right so these goals were taken up okay in year 2000 for 15 years okay so 15 years these goals were taken up okay so there were some goals first the major goal was poverty unemployment right and hunger right so all these goals were taken you don't need not to know uh, all of these goals because right now these goals have been replaced by sustainable development goals but after 15 years right okay so after 15 years they were for 15 years they were taken but in the year 2012 okay so there was a, again a conference in rio de janeiro where is rio de janeiro uh, can anyone tell me yes brazil okay that's that's yes hunger salis your answer was right hunger yes okay yeah 
so uh, that's correct that is in brazil so there was a uh, you know there was a summit again in 2012 okay so it was decided that we will again take up some goals for next 15 years how many years again 15 years so in 2015 these goals were ratified and they were called as what what we call them as sustainable development goals okay so that how we call them as sustainable development goals okay so these goals were taken and what are these goals now okay so first of all we should uh, we should know that this term that what is uh, you know uh, uh, what is sustainability first of all otherwise you will not be able to understand right so first of all those uh, uh, these uh, achievements uh, what the millennium development goals have made right which were taken for 2000 to 2015 okay for first 15 years and then from 2015 to 2030 right so for the first 15 years what are the achievements of the millennium development goals and uh, i would like to like mention again that these this name has been this was these were replaced by sustainable development goals okay so you should know that right again so don't, don't get confused these were for which period from 2000 to 2015 right and from 2015 onwards they were replaced by sustainable development goals that we are going to study in detail today right okay so now uh, the what these are some of the achievements in these 15 years what are the achievement that we have made 1 billion people have been moved out of poverty okay then child mortality rate the young children die okay so it was reduced to half then the number of children who were out of school it was dropped by more than half right and then uh, uh, this uh, the people who are dying of infectious diseases like hiv aids and other they fall they fell almost by 40% so they have made some progress right but it is not 100% right okay uh, uh, climate change uh, uh, it uh, brazil it was cli- uh, capital yeah climate change because russia and ukraine fight pollution yeah th- these are the things some of the problems poverty is a major issue right yeah so at that time in 2000 poverty was a major issue right so everybody took that issue right but after that in 2015 the world realized that there are other problems also right so these days you are seeing that you mentioned already that there are so many problems like unemployment is there right there is climate change that is a very biggest issue you know poverty and all these issues so other some other issues were also taken okay so what are sustainable development goals that were taken after 2015 right so what are sustainable development goals so first of all to understand these goals we should understand the term what is sustainability okay what is sustainability so can anybody tell me what is sustainability to sustain something yes any uh, anyone any idea what is sustainability yes you can raise your hands i'll unmute you then what is sustainability any idea anyone i just mentioned it in the starting right what is sustainability yes aishi सर ऐसी कोई चीज जैसे हम लोग उसे आज भी यूज कर सकते हैं और कल के लिए भी बचा सकते हैं या जस्ट जस्ट ट्राई टू मेंशन दिस इन इंग्लिश राइट बिकॉज़ दिस इज फॉर योर यू नो बेटरमेंट फॉर योर स्पीकिंग स्किल दैट्स अ राइट आंसर बट राइट यस सरोज टू बी एबल टू डू द सेम थिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम नॉट जस्ट फॉर सडन स्पाइक एंड देन गो डाउन अगेन to yeah. continuously keep one uh, amount something. okay that that's very good that's correct that's correct yes daksh is saying uh, sorry tanvi is saying something to maintain yeah you should maintain that thing okay so that is that has come out of the word so sustainable development goals this sustainability has come out of the word sustainability right so sustainability word means that you should sustain something for a, a, a some period of time right so uh, if you called about sustainability of the whole world there are only there are just three factors or you can call them three pillars okay there are three pillars on which this sustainability depend one is economic that is money okay second one is environment right and the third one is social so these are called as three pillars of sustainability right if you get them correct you can solve all the problems of the world okay almost all the problems like uh, saying 100% nothing is 100% right but you can solve all the problems of the almost all the problems of the world right okay so these are called as the three pillars of the sustainability like economic part environment part and social part okay now i will i will explain this to you with the help of a example okay so with this example there is a thing uh, you have to uh, tell me how many of you like cookies okay please tell me how many of you like cookies please tell me who like cookies eating cookies no one yeah 
<laughs> okay, man. Uh, okay, okay. Salis Sarvin has uh, said that. Yeah, okay, you like. Great. I like. Dakshi Singh. He likes. Ariman likes. Nilargya likes. Everyone likes, right? Yes, Salis. You wanted to speak. No, sir. Okay. You raised your hand. Okay. Uh, Aradhya is saying yes. I, I, I. Okay. You. So everyone likes cookies, right? Everyone likes. Who knows? I don't think I've never met a person who doesn't like cookies, right? So suppose you want to make cookies at home, right? So you bought. Suppose I'm giving you an example, right? So just to understand all these three aspects of the sustainability, right? So you brought 10 kg of wheat flour. What do you bought? Because you need wheat flour, right? Wheat flour to make cookies, right? So you bought 10 kg. Okay. So every day you make, you use one kg to make your cookies, right? How many? How much you use? One kg, right? Every day, right? Okay. So use you use how much you use one kg every day okay but you need this wheat flour because uh, the market is closed suppose there is lockdown going on so market is closed for next twenty days suppose right market is closed for next twenty days now what will you do because you have you you are using one kg every day so how in how many days it will finish yes Sarosh uh, we will split by half so we we'll yeah. use half a kg every day to yeah. last to the twenty days. If you yeah. use the same one kg, it will finish in five days. In how how days, five? Sorry, ten days. Ah, yeah, ten, ten days. days. Yeah, ten days. Right. So it's it's simple. Like wait, it will only you need for twenty days because twenty days market is closed. You will not be able to go out. Okay, there is pandemic. Suppose I'm just giving an example. Ah, huh? it is over now almost. Right. But it is an example. Right. So uh, uh, now uh, you will finish it in ten days. So you should use it judiciously. Right. Economically. Right. So that some where that's where comes the economic part. Okay. Now this wheat is what? It is a natural resource or not? Yeah, wheat is a natural resource. Okay, so if you use this judicious, judiciously, right, like half a kg every day, you will, you can last for twenty days, right? So this means economic part of sustainability. What it means that you use your resources judiciously. Okay, so that it is also left for the future generations. Okay, for example, we have petroleum right now, but everybody, everybody start increasing their petroleum production and is start using petrol every day. You know, in much number. Okay, we shun the these electric cars and then we start using petroleum cars. What will happen? you people will not be having any petroleum left when you grow up right or any other product related to that right so we should use all our resources on the earth judiciously okay so instead of using 1 kg every day we should eat less and use 0.5 kg okay so it will last for 20 days obviously we know that this resource is finite okay because after that you have after 20 days you have to go to market okay anyhow right yes sarosh just wait i need to unmute you yes no yes. no sir before only i raised i forgot to lower okay Yes, Atvik, you want to speak? Okay, fine. So, uh, 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 what I was saying that you should use all your resources judiciously. First of all, because you have to replace them someday, right? So you have to either go to market again after twenty days, right? Okay. So this is there. This is where comes the economic part, right? So you have to use your resources judiciously. Okay. Now, tell me. Um, uh, uh, you bought this floor. Now see the we will see the environment part in the same example, right? Now. You have bought this 10 kg floor, but you didn't store it well in an airtight container. You just left it open. What will happen? And it is rainy days, like you know, August or September, uh, August month, right? What will happen? Can just wait. Let me unmute, unmute you. Yes, Arman, just wait. Yeah, please speak. Uh, in the weed, there will be many insects. Uh, okay, there will be insects. Okay, Sarvik. And the yes. weed will be spoiled. Yeah, it will be soiled. Yes. Yes, Atvik. That the wheat will be get this. I said the wheat wheat will be wasted. Yeah, it will be wasted because there will be moisture. Yes, yes, and you can also mention in the chat if I ask something, right? Because yeah, it will be it will be soiled. Yes, everyone. Okay, so uh, uh, this uh, this wheat will be lost, right? So if you don't use or save your wheat properly or store it properly or don't treat it properly, right? So it will be soiled. So this come where this is where comes the environment factor. Now wheat again is a natural resource, right? Just like we use other natural resources like iron or copper, everything, right? So we should use it. Use this even if we have money to buy it, we should use it properly and we should take care of the environment also, right? So it will be soiled if you don't store it properly, right? So we should use judiciously also, and at the same time we should take care of the environment also, right? Okay, you understand? Now see the social part. Okay, so you are suppose there are two brothers. Okay, so they uh, both of them wants to make cookies. Now they are fighting that who will make cookies today, right? 
so they started fighting and they took that container where the wheat flour was there okay they started like snatching with each other in between them okay this i, I used to do when i was when i was young i used to fight with the cousins right that i will do this i will do this right so i they both want to make like you know this uh, cookie so what will happen if they fight if they if they quarrel among each other pulling it from both sides that the lid will open and the wheat will yeah. be spoiled. that's right that's right that's correct anyone else what will happen if they both uh, get into a, a quarrel yes sarosh uh, they will uh, become enemies and in future conflicts also they will in future situations also they will start think they will think about what happened before and they will have enmity forever like yeah. not forever, but what will what, what will yeah what will happen to the floor wheat floor it will uh, be it will be used unfairly because if somebody wins the fight they will take most of it and leave less of it for the other person that's that's correct yeah so the, the two things will two things will happen okay i'm writing here two things will happen uneven distribution right uneven distribution will be there and second there will be either it will get again wasted because it will fall on the floor it will spill over and it will be wasted two things will happen in any of the cases this uh, this resource will be destroyed okay this is again i'm again we are coming to that natural resources right so this will be destroyed right either it will be unevenly distributed or it will be wasted right so in that case social factor comes right socially so all these social factors also affect our sustainability right so sustainability has three main factors one is economic one is environment tech factor and one is social factor i hope uh, after this example all three things are clear to you that you should use your environment factor what it says that we should use our resources judiciously okay uh, economic factor says sorry environment factor says that we should preserve them also at the same time right suppose you have oceans then you should preserve you should not throw plastic in the water bodies right and then social factor says that we should not fight amongst each other for the resources we should you know distribute them evenly right so all these three factors okay these are called the if the if you want if you want to ask that what is sustainability so it lies in the intersection of all these three okay in this intersection of all these three there lies the sustainability right environment economics and so society or social factor right so in the intersection there is sustainability right so now all these now these three factors are there environment is there okay environment is there economics is there social is there but these are very big spheres right so we divided again divided subdivided them into different goals right because environment has many big areas like you know land water air you must have heard about land pollution is a different thing air pollution is a different thing so we have divided environment into many goals then we have divided economic issues into different goals and social goals so now what are sustainable development goals so after div dividing them there were 17 goals that were taken so you have to remember this that how many sustainable development goals we have or and the target is what is the target to finish these goals 2030 right what is the target 2030 okay yes satvik if you have any doubt just mention it in the chat box right or you can just raise your hand yes satvik okay fine so uh, there are the uh, how many goals we have yeah tanvi wants to speak something yes tanvi please speak sir can you repeat what are the goals so goals we are going to discuss now the number i am saying the number is 17 okay our goals we are going to discuss now after this we are going to discuss the goals right each and every goal right but there are total 17 goals so these three these are the main three points the three pillars but we have divided them subdivided them right okay division like environment into again some of the 1 2 3 then you know economics part into some the, and then social factors in again sub parts so total how many goals are there 17 goals right and they were adopted by united nations general assembly okay but one thing that you should know about these goals that these are not binding okay binding means that this uh, you 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 can achieve these goals but there is no foundation that you will be punished if you don't do this okay it is like that okay so everybody says it is like that uh, everybody says that do good things 
okay or 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 don't lie but if you lie somewhere some somewhere it, you should not first of all and if you do but it is not like there some some there is some you know uh, uh, you know uh, 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 outside power which will punish you okay it doesn't happen like that right okay y- yes aishi sir what is a document it is called a united nations general assembly so it it was adopted through our uh, uh, general charter or you can call it a united nations Uh, proposed document okay so that, that is we generally we call this a charter but gen, uh, in this uh, in this case we call it a document okay yeah yes yeah, satvik do you want to speak something you raise your hand anyone else you can just mention in the chat if you want to speak something or raise your hand yes sarosh uh what does indicate 304 indicators mean okay so the uh, the, uh, the in, uh, t- there are 17 goals okay and every goal is again further subdivided right so there are 169 targets okay there is one target suppose you have made one target that i will finish chemistry okay or maths today but there is again in chemistry there will be some different units unit 1 unit 2 so you you said that in the morning time i will finish unit 1 then in the second in the second time i will finish unit 2 and then in the in the evening i will finish unit 3 so this is a sub division right so again every goal is further sub divided into 169 targets and indicators every target has some indicators like suppose if you want to judge whether there is poverty or not so one indicator can be we will see that what is their income right this is the indicator then in the poverty we will see whether they have basic things in their houses like you know fan tv these are the basic things so these are called as indicators so if you divide again and again so these are 304 indicators right there are 17 goals 169 targets and then again 304 indicators based on them right if you have any doubt then we'll move forward you need not to remember them right you just know the numbers okay but you should, the most important thing here is the 17 goals that you should know we are going to discuss them now if you have any doubt up till now you can just ask me and then we'll move forward yes just uh, yes avika sir i did not understand the meaning of indicator okay uh, we'll do it again just just wait uh, just just give me one second okay just just wait. okay so we'll take up indicators again right so uh, by indicators what i mean suppose there are some targets we have 17 goals okay so your goal today in the class was to uh, to get first rank right this is your goal understand right this is your goal okay this is to get the first rank this is your goal right this is your goal now to achieve this goal you will set some target target would be that i will finish one subject each day right you want to get first rank this is your goal now to achieve this goal you have set up a target target is that you will finish one subject each day now to finish this subject right you have to finish this subject right so you, this is your target now to subject finish the subject you will make again some strategy that unit 1 is very short i will finish it in 1 hour but unit unit 2 is very long i will it will take me 3 hours to remember it right so these are the further indicators you understand if you compare it in the again with the suppose you have your goal is poverty right so what are the indicators indicators would be like whether what is the income whether it is you know whether they were they are able to eat three times a day or not whether they have you know proper uh, you know modern things in their their houses like tv fridge right so these are the indicators okay the target was suppose poverty elimination but in poverty elimination the target is that by 2030 will reduce the number to half this is the target but to achieve that target we should see some indicators that how will we raise the income how will we ra- how will we get them proper things like you know which are uh, you know basic things of the, in the house then what are the uh, that uh, whether it is given to everyone or not so these are called as the indicator right so i if you have any doubt still no no, no indicator doesn't mean i see indicator doesn't mean target target is different thing indicator is a different thing. to achieve a goal you set up a target and to get that target you again further divided into sub targets or indicators right i hope i am uh, if i am uh, if you understood it just raise your hand and then uh, we'll move forward 
yes sarosh you got it just say why instead of writing yes just mention it why in the chat section i'll uh, i'll get it avika you got it get it yes sir okay fine tanvi said yes daksh says yes yes okay tanvi daksh uh, okay arman says yes okay fine okay so you get it right dipanshi says yes okay fine fine guys okay saroj says yes saroj paul okay okay guys so we'll move forward right and please set up your target like this ha huh? this is this is just for fun that you should set up your target like you, you want to get first rank i am not saying that you should do it against your wish but you should wish for something big right so if you they say na that if you wish for the moon you will at least end up somewhere in the sky right so you should be uh, you know try to get for the you know biggest thing and then you will reach somewhere right so just uh, i am not saying that everybody will get a first rank okay it is first rank only 1% will get there but you will at least get second third you know who knows okay so set up your target set suppose so, so set up your goal then make some targets for every day and then again divide that day into some indicators that whether i have finished my learned my question answers or not something like that right and you can also relate it to your then this topic also right okay so these are our goals right okay shreyas is saying gorav is saying uh, gorav uh, fatnani is saying that he understood shreyas is saying right okay fine okay guys so these are your seven uh, 17 goals which we were talking about right so these are those goals first of all is no poverty okay so you understand it right we'll discuss them again in detail right i'm just like you know just uh, Uh, saying them once and then we'll discuss them one by one okay yes avika you raise your hand yeah please speak sorry sir i forgot to lower it okay fine okay fine so our second second goal is zero hunger right and then third goal what it says good health for everyone then quality education for everyone then gender equity gender equality means that men and women should be treated equally right then clean water and sanitation for everyone yes sales Sir, I cannot see the presentation, sir. You cannot see the presentation. Can uh, everyone else? Can you? Uh, can everyone see the presentation? Please tell me. Just type Y or sir. raise your hand. Yeah. Yes, Ariman. Any anyone, anyone else? Satvik, can you see the presentation? Uh, yes, it is visible, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, guys. so uh, just just refresh it right okay sales okay uh, so our seventh goal is affordable clean energy right yes okay so affordable clean energy for everyone then decent work everyone should get work right then we should have industrial innovation everywhere then we should have reduced inequality like you know some countries are rich some are very poor okay so this should not be there you must have heard about you know there is a crisis in sri lanka okay they don't have money right so this should not be there then your sustainable cities your cities where you live they should be sustainable you know it's not should, it, they should not be crowded okay whenever you go to a big city you see that it is very crowded it should not be like that okay then our 12th goal is responsible consumption that we should not waste food and other resources right okay okay then we have okay then we have uh, clean climate okay so that is very important climate action okay we should save our climate and uh, climate change as you already mentioned right then life under water that is you know your uh, water bodies then life on the land and then next peace justice and strong institutions that everyone should get justice it is not like you know if countries one country is strong it will you know take over the another country for example you can see see this in you know ukraine russia war okay there are other aspect of that war also but basically if you see in broader term it is a, a stronger country is taking over a you know a, a weaker country it should not be like that right there should be institutions like united nations and other uh, institution which can ensure justice and last is the partnership for the goals like you know every uh, like you know a strong country should partner with the country which is weaker and you are providing them financial assistance and everything right okay okay fine so we'll discuss these goals one by one if anybody has a doubt uh, yes yes silas please speak yeah ayushi sir what is the inequalities which quality equality In okay equality we we are coming to that okay we are coming to that we'll discuss these goals one by one now. okay okay so why sustainable development we already discussed it right why we need it so we already covered it okay now each goal okay so first goal is end of poverty right first goal is what 
how to end poverty right so end poverty in all its form everywhere this is our first goal okay so uh, what is the target that we have kept that by 2030 we will eradicate all extreme poverty from everywhere okay extreme poverty means that people should at least have food to eat okay so we will uh, end this extreme poverty from everywhere so this is the first goal what it says end poverty in all its form everywhere right so by 2030 what is the first target that we should you know extreme poverty should be eliminated that at least people should have proper food to eat okay uh, in a country like india if i tell you there are many people who sleep hungry at night right many children are there okay these are, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, these are the uh, this photograph is from some other country but the condition is same right and then uh, we should uh, what what should be our effort to remove this poverty what 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 effort we can make to like you know uh, uh, remove poverty from the world can anybody has any idea what we can do i will ask you how are the other things you can prepare it in the next class but just tell me one 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 idea i will ask you about the other ideas in the next class then we will discuss this because you are the people uh, who are going to discuss in the next class right any idea anyone who can give just write it in the chat or raise your hand you can also speak like what is the idea uh, how can we, how we can like you know remove poverty yes yes ariman so we can reduce the poverty by decreasing the prices of things okay that is an indirect solution but yes okay okay so today when the class will end okay satvik so class will end uh, uh, in yes, 15 minutes so, okay yes, so correct sir minutes. so we are actually running out of the time so yeah we can we can bind up at uh, 745 it will end sir okay 745 right so 745 yes, sorry. right sorry. okay so uh, this is the uh, so you please please keep these points in mind right because next time when we are going to discuss our school opened a school for poor children with no fee that is a very good that, that is a very good point avika that uh, uh, you can open free schools for poor children so that they can learn they can study okay and then after that they can you know earn for their families and pull them out of poverty yes tanvi ma'am uh, sir can you tell a uh, eradicate extreme poverty extreme poverty means that people even don't eradicate means to you know to remove that i mean like you can finish it okay eradication means eradication of disease like you have like uh, vaccinated everyone then the uh, disease is eradicated eradication means to remove that from the face of the earth okay so eradication of extreme poverty means that uh, people uh, should at least have three times meal and a proper uh, uh, not very normal but uh, a very normal standard of living okay so that is called as extreme poverty okay next move on to the next goal now our next goal what it says end hunger right so and hunger means that everybody should have access to food you know everybody should be able to eat right so this is what our second goal that we should end hunger in all the forms right and everybody should have proper meal to eat you know in people in where there are many uh, you know many uh, uh, states in africa where people uh, children are not able to feed themselves even twice a day right so these are the conditions in countries and you know somalia nigeria many places right and uh, uh, you know congo and uh, sudan so there are countries where the children even don't have enough to eat okay so where should they, there we should work out and find a way that everybody gets fed right the next third goal is ensure healthy lives right and children uh, i'd like to uh, ask you that next time when we will discuss i will also try to uh, i will ask you that we should explain you should explain these points in detail right so you should also tell me the ways that in the next class i will ask you suppose in the next class what will happen i will say that this is our second goal how we can you know how we can you know achieve this goal so you have to tell me the ideas so do some research work on these goals right like that how how we can you know achieve this uh, you know how we can end hunger okay so next time you will have to speak i will be listening this time i am speaking you are listening next time it will be opposite right so you will be speaking and i will be listening okay so i will ask you that how we can end hunger in the next class so you should be able to tell me that sir that this is the way we can end hunger right tanvi has said that government has started mdm also for this what is mdm sorry i didn't get it mid day meal okay i i get it okay mid day meal guys right? okay don't don't write it i i get it okay mid day meal right that's good okay fine the next is third goal is ensure healthy lives okay everybody you know so people generally in poor countries people die because of infection and you know children die right 
so all the, uh, we should reduce it right uh, this uh, this mortality ratio we should reduce it okay so what type of mortality are there i will ask you this these questions next time and okay please keep them in mind that what are the type of mortality okay mortality means death okay mortality means death right so how what type of mortality we have and how we can reduce it okay just like you have seen mortality uh, rate you know it rose up in the corona time right everybody like was dying because of an uh, you know an, a new disease right so how we can reduce it not corona but any disease okay any which are diseases are there there are so many diseases like tb you know india there are so many people are you know die because of tb okay tuberculosis then there are people who die from aids they are uh, not uh, not everyone is dying but people die and people die from malaria so <laughs> Uh, so uh, healthy lives means that we should uh, how we can how we can make everyone lives better okay so uh, your voice was cracking in between okay so what i am trying to say that we should make life healthier for everyone okay and by 2030 we should reduce like this mortality rate mortality the people will die naturally also but but they should not die because of any disease like tb or another other disease like communicable and non communicable diseases right okay yes uh next we should ensure equitable quality education for everyone so everybody should whether they belong to any you know these are uh, you can see these figures there are different children from this di different ethnicity they are from different groups but they all should get they sh all should get together and they should get given quality education right so everybody should get free and equitable education how we can provide this education you have to you know just do some research and try to find that how we can provide uh, you know quality education to everyone okay how we can just like uh, tanvi has already mentioned that you can open free schools right so this is the way you can provide free education but what are the other ways you can provide right so just uh, you just do some research and then we'll discuss it in the next class right then we have sdg 5 which is achieve gender equality right so gender equality what it means gender equality it means that everybody should be treated equal like women in the house they work so hard but they do not get that status okay mainly in the patriarchal society they do not get that status like because and um, in many countries if you go uh, women are treated less than the men right so this should not be there we should ensure that there is gender equality and how we can uh, um, like get gender equality right so uh, again every every time i will say this that you have to think on it that what are the ways we can achieve this right and we can have a you know healthy discussion next time in the next class right next six is ensure availability of sustainable management of water okay and sanitation water means we should everybody should get proper clean drinking water and second is everybody should have access to sanitation right so we should have clean you must have heard about the scheme called har ghar jal uh, which is given by government of india right and everybody should have tap water and then you must have heard about like swachh bharat swachh bharat mission that everybody should have proper sanitation in their houses right so what are the other ways we can provide this right so you uh, just think over it right next goal is seventh goal that is affordable reliable sustainable energy for all okay so you know that uh, petroleum resources are going to you know finish at one day this petrol and natural gas everything is going to finish one day so we should provide cheaper energy to everyone right because everybody can see petrol prices are rising every day you must have heard in the news right so if petrol prices are rising then we should find alternative sustainable resources which can be given to everyone right so uh, this is our goal number 7 then goal number 8 what it says it promotes sustain inclusive and sustainable economic growth that every country should grow economically and equally right the next goal number 9 what it says resilient infrastructure and promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation that everybody and every country should get proper infrastructure along with proper innovation right suppose some countries are very good in technology like all the uh, big the big tech companies like apple you know google microsoft they are in america but why not in india or any other south asian country right so why they everybody should get that right you know this kind of innovation should happen everywhere right so how we can achieve that okay so next time we will discuss it next reduce inequality like you know every i just told you that some countries are rich some are poor so how we can bridge this gap okay so just try to think on it you these are just one word answers one line answers just think on it right okay then goal number 11 what it says that we should make cities and human settlement more safe okay suppose if there is uh, you know some uh, a cyclone is going on suppose right so uh, uh, houses should be strong enough to hold down right and they should be sustainable also at the same time right so how can we ki how we can make these cities and settlement safe and reliable right just think on it right all these all these goals 
uh, ensure sustainable consumption right we should not waste food just like france you know we should not waste the food right so we should ensure that uh, the consumption is sustainable right we should not waste even a single you know a single gram of food because many people are not uh, you know have enough to eat twice a day so if you are wasting food that means you are taking someone else meal right so there should be ways to uh, reduce the uh, this uh, you know wastage of food so how we can do that you know just uh, uh, think on think on that like we can you know uh, re, uh, store the food somewhere and provide it to the poor people okay right so in this way just think of the other ways also apart from this then goal number 13 urgent action for climate change right so how what is what is climate change that changing climate you already know that that is the biggest threat to us and how we can like you know counter it how we can reduce the you know global warming and other issues that are going on right so how we can achieve that right then next Uh, we should conserve water resources you know there is so much pollution you can see in this photograph that is a you know that is in the pacific ocean this is a island island of plastic bottles in the middle of the pacific ocean where nobody lives all these water were you know thrown on the shore and they were collected at one place and it has become a island an island of waste bottles as you can see in the this is in pacific ocean the biggest patch of plastic right as you can see here right so uh, how we can reduce this plastic pollution and marine pollution right and how we can save uh, all these you know water bodies right next uh, i shall come back to you let's just finish it and uh, i'll i'll come back to you right uh, we should protect and restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystem like you know every everywhere you see people go to himalayas and you know hill stations and then throw things here and there so we should save all these ecosystem like himalayas you know alps and these everywhere and forest ecosystem because so many you know uh, animals live there in the forest right so we should save them So this is a picture of the forest fire it was forest fire right this picture if you can see okay this was because of a human activity right so all this forest were burnt because of human activity so we should be able to preserve these right 16th goal said that we should promote peaceful society for example this is a picture from ukraine right so this soldier is standing here the buildings are destroyed right because a, a, a country with power tried to you know subvert uh, subvert a country which is uh, weaker right so this form of violence should not be there everybody should live peacefully i gave you an example of the two brothers right in the starting so this is the uh, this is the real form of that you can see and our last goal our last goal what it says we should strengthen the means of implementation of the global partnership that every one country if it is rich it should help the other country right so these are our 17 goals okay india uh, so uh, there are ranking also in the world like uh, the uh, country which has done you know best in sustainable development goals the, the first country that is it finland okay it has topped right and uh, uh, there are other countries also india's position is 120 okay in this ranking there is a ranking that which country is doing how much how well so india's rank is 120 okay then uh, india also published its own index index means that ranking right how much we are doing so india also published it with for its state okay so there kerala is the biggest uh, best state in india which is performing well and himachal pradesh right these are some just fact you will get it in the reading notes right you will after the class you will get mcqs also and reading notes also right and there are some also initiatives by a government of india for the sustainable goals for example i tell you swachh bharat abhiyan i was telling you about then the quality of petrol bs6 vehicles okay plastic no plastic india you uh, there are many places where plastic is banned right so these are the initiative that is taken by the government of india okay so if you if i sum up everything okay what does it mean that we should all work together okay to get Uh, sustainability right so we should all work together and uh, you we should think of the new ways that how we can achieve these goals right so uh, i think uh, uh, we have finished all the points here right and next time we are going to you know um, discuss these points just think of the points uh, that how we can do and achieve these goals and that so that we can discuss this better in the next class right so be ready with the points just do a little bit research about each of these goals okay so children if you have any doubt you can just mention anyone if you have any doubt you can just raise your hands next time because in the next class you are going to speak so if you have any doubt you can ask you need not to remember everything about each goal right you just remember need to remember the name and that's it and you should know that what is it 
you need not to remember word by word everything right you should just remember that the 17 goals and what they say that's it and try to find innovative solution of that for that right each one of you just choose it like uh, at least just prepare three or four but at least you should try to find solutions right anybody any doubt regarding this yes anyone yes ariman satvik tanvi nilargay no okay tanvi says no okay ariman says no satvik says no yes other people yes silas aradhya daksh tujal diya yes harsha santosh ayushi says no understood nicely daksh singh okay that's good ayushi also said yes yes hussain abbas yes okay just i'm just coming to you okay yes wait yeah please speak sir i have just joined yes, sir so i have just joined so <clears throat> okay please so uh, point uh, you said, you talking about uh, i was talking about sustainable development goals right so we today we discussed it all the goals 17 goals right and next time we are going to discuss it in detail each goal right you will come up with some points and we will discuss it that how many of you agree with it how many do not agree with it or we will have a you know healthy discussion just like we have every day you must have seen in the news also right so this kind of discussion we are going to have right and it will also increase your you know speaking uh, skill among the people and among your peers sir uh, then i leave my phone has only 3% battery okay fine okay. we have already already finished it right yes, yes. so siddharth sir yes yeah. i think we yes. can we can wrap up so okay, thank you thank you for the wonderful session sir so students uh, in the chat box i have shared the links uh please save the link so to join the live class this link will help you okay copy and save somewhere and please let us know like how was the session in the chat box in the last do you like it yeah please leave a leave a feedback yeah out send me okay thank you thank you sir Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, students. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So please save the link. I'm sharing again. Okay. So to join this course, this link will help you. Interesting and understandable. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Dad. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sir Dad, Sir. Thank you, students. Thank you, Sir. Now thank we will meet in live classes. Okay. Good night, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.